Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've got a special one for you today. Excited to show you this brilliant, brilliant business that's currently for sale on flipper.com. So it's a Shopify dropshipping store. It's been in business for 12 months. In those 12 months, they've generated $1.5 million in sales with a profit of 455 thousand US dollars. In this video, I'm going to show you what their best selling product is and how you can source it from AliExpress to it's a very easily popular sourceable product. I'll also show you the ad creatives they've used to generate those sales as well. There's a lot to learn from these guys, so make sure you stick around. If you would like some one to one help, a mentorship, a hand holding process, launching a business similar to this, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. I have a special message just for you. So without any further ado, thanks for tuning in guys. Hope you enjoy this one. I'm um, hoping learn something more importantly uh, let's jump straight into it so some background contextual information this is a one-year-old fitness brand selling gym clothes in sweden i'm really really big and a big fan of drop shipping in the lesser popular countries the reason why it's such a powerful strategy is this facebook cpm by country this is up to date in 2024 as well if we have a look at the united states the average cpm is over twenty dollars now of course this is an average taken across the whole board these guys are advertising in sweden we can see here in fact if i bring my tool in to make it easier united states average cpm over twenty dollars sweden average cpm less than ten dollars it's half the price to advertise in sweden as it is in the united states for every 10,000 people you're going to reach in the US, you're going to reach over 20,000 in Sweden. That offers up and opens up so much opportunity when it comes to e-commerce. In those 12 months, their average monthly profit across the year has been just under $38,000. This is a verified listing at two, which means a member of the flipper.com flipper team has validated that the numbers are correct. This is a legitimate business. So $1.5 million in revenue with $455,000 generated in net profit absolutely awesome this is truly why i believe dropshipping is the best online business for anybody to start not only is it quick and easy to start it requires a very little time investment and very little financial investment as well just to give you a quick glimpse of their best-selling product this is it and this is it on aliexpress they are even using AliExpress content to sell the product. Some other important background contextual information if you are here for the long run and you are truly interested in building a proper dropshipping business. Strong customer retention rate of over 10%, 11.8% over the last 12 months is absolutely awesome. Most dropshipping businesses will be lucky to get 2%. What customer retention is, is basically almost 12% of their customers come back and actually purchase something later down the line. This significantly impacts the long-term viability of your business. If you are relying on spending £10 on ads to make £20 back and then forgetting about your customer, you're 100% leaving money on the table and you're 100% making life more difficult for yourself. The reason being is because if you pay $10 for one customer and they spend $20, Let's say that $20 is all profit, right? So you spent $10 to make $20. Take the 10 away from the 20, that's $10 profit. But if that customer comes back and spends another $20, you're then taking $10 away from $40. You're making $30 profit per customer. So customer retention rate is super, super important. They have done 200K revenue through Clavio. Now, obviously, Email marketing is a bit like a domino effect. The more people you have on your list, the more successful it's going to be and the more worthwhile it's going to be. But with the right sequences set up, it is like a set and forget situation that can just bring in automated revenue on demand. Gym Power's operations are streamlined and efficient with a reliable agent based in China. These guys are not dropshipping from AliExpress. I show you AliExpress as an example so you have a ballpark idea of what the product cost is going to be it's also to illustrate that this is not some unique and protected products that only these guys can sell this is a product i can sell tomorrow this is a product you can sell tomorrow this is a product anybody watching this video can get a business up and running and selling tomorrow let's have a look at the sales in for the past 12 months we can see it is on an upward trend this is a very 
very healthy business. Usually flipper.com is the place where businesses go to die where they're on a downward trend and the owner doesn't know what to do to turn them around. They try and sell them off for a nice cash payoff, but nobody wants to buy a dying business, right? Everybody wants to buy a business that is on the up. And this is what these guys are. If I close this down, we can see in April of last month, they did nearly 190K in sales and over 60k in profit very very impressive some financial statistics overview from the past 12 months wrong tool from the past 12 months so 1.5 just to reiterate um, in turnover 455 in profit with a profit margin of in and around 30 percent that's really really good for drop shipping um, if i was these guys if they haven't already i would certainly look at private labeling this product and using some sort of a 3pl to keep stocking because it's going to bring that profit margin up even further Shipping and cost of goods, 45K a month. Marketing, they're spending 70K a month. So give or take a little bit over 2K a day. Um, and then you have your platform fees from Shopify for 475 a month. So that's going to be a combination of the subscription plan, apps, and depending on which plan they're going for, a business of this level will not be on the basic plan. That's why that number is so high. Let's jump onto the Shopify store then. Let's see what a seven figure dropshipping store looks like. So at the top, they have their entire range. They have a home button. They have act which i'm not 100 percent sure perhaps there's a bit of lost in translation there track your order page terms of purchase contact us let's go on to contact us there's no surprises here they've got all of the information you'd expect to see from a legitimate company where it's registered the registered number a proper email address opening hours that sort of thing this is very simple and basic stuff that's really easy to get hold of and add to your store but a lot of people forget to do it this is their about us page in my opinion this needs work given the size of them they could certainly invest in a better story than this with some more imagery which would help people buy into their message however the proof is in the pudding if they don't need to change it why would they half a million dollars in profit speaks for itself these guys are certainly at the point where they could start thinking about bringing on swedish influencers to endorse the brand this is where the private labeling will come in and follow that similar kind of business model that jim shack used but do it just in sweden let's have a scroll down through the home page then take a look at the products they're selling so these are their best selling shorts i can prove that if we come onto our koala inspector tool they're using the impact theme which is a free theme with some level of customization by the looks of it i'm going to products we're going to best sellers so shipping insurance maybe i'll do a video on this it's probably not worth a video on its own but basically you can add these shipping insurances through your shipping settings for a little extra fee which might be an expedited delivery it might be um, some form of informed delivery so if it arrives broken or delayed etc you'll compensate the customer it's a little way of bumping up the profit uh, margins the bottom line you'll find somewhere between sort of 10 and 20 percent of your customers don't mind paying that extra couple of dollars three or four dollars um, for premium shipping as we can see though beyond this the most popular product is the gym power original shorts which are these ones here which we'll take a closer look at in a second back to the product ranges then now i'm not sure how they get away with selling these these hocks obviously they're very similar to hocka or hoka whichever way you wish to to pronounce it um, they're also selling this Superman t-shirt too, which is obviously a trademarked brand. So I'm not 100% sure how they get away with selling all of these products. So my advice would be just a word of caution um, moving forwards with some of these. So what I've just noticed as well, the original series, Gym Power. So these products are actually private labeled, like I mentioned earlier. It's got the logo on and these are, I can't remember the name, maybe Tailored Athlete or vanquish these are almost an identical replica of a gym brand called vanquish it could even be the same model and image but they've put a different logo on there i'm just going to check out the reviews and see if there's so there is a picture review with their logo on so they do come branded this is as legit as it comes so it looks like they're starting to kind of transition from a drop shipping brand into private labeling the products which is obviously going to support a lot of those things that i mentioned earlier on in the video back to their best-selling products though these haven't got their logo on and this is literally the aliexpress content in fact all of the images here are the same images they have on their website so this could have been their original bestseller back in the day that made them all their money that they used to then finance the private labeling of the other products i'm not too sure it doesn't say it in the business description but this coupled with the sales volume and the fact that it's working at the moment 
still goes to show this is a product that is selling very, very well at the moment. Given the fact that we're coming into summer too, makes it an ideal product for now, because when it is summer, myself included, I get out running and cycling a lot lot more let's jump onto their facebook page then and see if they're running any ads we'll take a quick look at their content um, nothing too crazy um, not too much thought or time gone into some of these very easy um, replicatable let's come up to the top low and go to about let's go to page transparency we can see they're currently running ads we go to seal we can go to ad library and then facebook oh so kindly is going to show us all of the ads they've ran so first things first 1400 results if you've tried dropshipping up to this point and it hasn't worked out to you, go to your Facebook ads library and see how many ads you've tested. If you've tested anything less than 10, then you haven't even broken the surface yet. Um, and it's definitely worth investing in testing more and more products and more and more creatives until you find what eventually works. As we come down through then, obviously I'm not gonna go through all 1400. I'll just point out the sort of things that stick out to me. A lot of these are inactive as well, so it'd be interesting to know why. Perhaps we'll get to some active ones towards the bottom. They also look like straightforward image ads too. So again, it doesn't get any simpler or easier to get up and running than this. Taking the images from AliExpress and using them as ads but just remember like i said in the beginning the reason why these guys have been able to be successful is because they're selling a proven trying to test a product that has sold well in the western world has sold well in the us and they've taken it to a country where people haven't seen it before so it is new and exciting in sweden whereas if you try to sell this now in the us the chances are your audience would have seen it before it's nothing new it's nothing exciting um, and it's not going to work let's keep going through then we can see some more videos here some really loud offensive music i'm not sure i'd love to know how they get away with selling them maybe they're different enough maybe they're a different brand in their own right maybe it is a swedish version of hoka i'm not entirely sure maybe somebody who's more clued up on running will be able to let me know and with that being said then guys i could go on and on and on and show you more and more creatives I've been talking now for a good 15 or 16 minutes, but ultimately um, I think I put the message across or shown you what I wanted to show you, um, the ad creatives, the products, the site, the results. Um, hopefully I'll spark some interest in your own businesses, uh, got those creative juices flowing and you've got some good ideas and it's motivated you to get out there um, and start building your own business. If you would like some help building that business from myself, one-to-one -one guidance, some hand-holding through the entire process, literally from the beginning, doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner, we can start at the very beginning, at the very day dot, from scratch um, with the products. I can help you find the products that suits the vision of the business you're looking to make. I can help you take that product and your vision and build it into a viable business. If that sounds like the sort of help you're looking for and you like the idea of working with me, like my content, then I'm going to invite you to um, jump on a call with me. So in the video description and below, you'll see this mentorship link. If you click this, it's going to take you to this page here once it loads up. Um, as you can see, 317 people have filled it out so far. It takes a couple of minutes to fill out. It's a chance for me to get to know where you're at now, your current level of experience, what it is you'd like to achieve with my help. And if it's a realistic goal that I feel like I can help you achieve, like for example, making 10K within a couple of months, then it'll take you through to my diary where you'll be able to book a date and time uh, where we can jump on and have a chat in more depth. The reason I put this message at the end of the video is because I don't want every man and his dog booking up my calendar and wasting my time. I want to work with those people who are serious and going to be committed um, to building a proper business. And if that is you, then you are the ideal person that I'd like to work with. So click that link now and get the form filled out and we could be jumping on a call as soon as um, later on this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.